All right, so today is July the 24th, uh, 2024. So I just wanted to go on a little bit of a rant, you know, about the uh, the holiday. You know, for those that, you know, live across the world that might not know the 4th of July, you know, basically it's a holiday over here in the United States that um, today, uh, back in uh, 1776, America became an independent uh, nation. Basically, that's the whole history behind the 4th of July and, uh, you know, simple terms, right? So, you know, the funny thing <laughs> that I was thinking about the other day, you know, is here it is today, you got everybody out here, you know, chewing back hot dogs and, you know, getting themselves drunk off beer and shit. And, you know, going out there, you know, claiming that they're so free in their beloved America. But yeah, here's the funny part, though. This is what I find funny, is these same people, if they hear about people trying to, you know, go against the authorities and say if people come up against the government and don't go by what they say and, you know, want to revolt against them, all these people will be completely against that because these people all call themselves law-abiding citizens, which, first of all, that's a oxymoron in itself. That's a self-contradictory statement in itself because how the hell could you be a freedom-loving American but yet, on the other hand, you brag about how you are obedient to every decree of government. Like, like literally, the, the, they don't coexist with one another. You can't be a free person, but then admit that you are obedient to the people that rule over you. I mean, that, like, that is just so retarded. It's amazing to me. But again, that's how these people out here in America think, right? These Americans. You know, oh, I'm so free. But yet, in the next sentence, they'll be like, well, I... I obey what government tells me, right? I'm a good person. I obey what government tells me. Again, it's just so asinine and retarded, it's ridiculous. But going back to my first statement that, that I wanted to talk about, um, here it is, these people, they would, you know, feel a certain way about people that revolt against their government. But here, yeah, here it is today. They're literally celebrating people that revolted against their government. Because uh, July 4th, when America won its um, freedom from Great Britain and King George, that was the 13 colonies that rebelled against their government, being the, what, King George, the, you know, ruler over uh, Britain, right? Because the colonies came down from Britain. So Britain had control over the colonies in the United States. But then as some time went on, they didn't want to be under their control. So... The colonies in America, which came from Britain, they revolted against the British government and won their freedom, right, on July 4th, 1776. But wait a second. That was a group of people who revolted against their government. So literally, these people going out celebrating July 4th, they are literally celebrating people who revolted against their government. And these people, they, they don't even realize that. Like, if I was to tell somebody that, you know, they look at me like I got nine heads because it they, like they never even took five seconds to realize that before. That literally you people out here that, you know, are all about law keeping and obedience to your government. You're literally like a jackass, literally turning around and celebrating people who did the same thing that you detest. Like think, think about how weird that is for a second. So here it is today. All these, you know, dumbass people out here. They'll be like, oh, we'll obey the authority, right? Obey government. And then they'll take pride in being a law-abiding citizen, right? But yet here it is. They'll literally, like a dumbass buffoon, on July 4th, they'll turn around and literally celebrate the people that revolted against their own government. Like, like how does that logically make sense? <laughs> like, logically, it makes no sense. But again, it, like, these people, they just... Like, none of them ever took five seconds to think about this before. You know, it just is really strange to me. You know, I just, I just find it really weird. So, so here it is. They'll look down on people that, you know, go against the government and groups that, you know, try to go up against the government and all that. But, yeah, here it is. All these dummies, like, like buffoons, literally turn right around and celebrate their country, which literally, if they know the history... Uh, as as the horse said, right? Hey, in order to know the mystery, you got to know the history, right? That's what GMS says, dealing with the prophecies. In order to know the mystery, you got to know the history. 
Right, so, which, you know, these cats out here, you know, they, they ain't, you know, a lot of these dummies don't even know there's 50 states in this country, you know, so let alone knowing the history of the country. Some of these dumbass buffoons don't even know the state where the, where the president is staying. <laughs> or they don't even know where the damn White House is. Some of these dummies out here don't even, some of these dumbass buffoons out here don't even know what year the, the country was established. I mean, come on, you know. This is just amazing to me, right? This is just, it's really funny if you think about it. <laughs> you know, but, but think about that first point I said, right? So here it is, all these people, you know, drinking their beers, firing off their fireworks today on July 4th. But yet, none of them know the history of their own country. And if they did know, well, they're just willfully being ignorant to the fact that they are literally celebrating people who did the very thing that they are against. Like, think about how retarded that is for a second. Think about how retarded that is. Right, so here it is. You're praising your country, right? You're patriotic for your country. But yet, you're literally celebrating people who revolted against their own government. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how people can just pretend it like that's not the history of July 4th. The colonies fought against Britain, which AKA was their government, and they got independence from them. So they were no longer under the government's control, but the point of the matter is, is they fought against their government, right? So isn't that something you Americans are not with? So why the hell are you now turning around and literally celebrating the people who went against your moral values? I mean, come on, this is, this is asinine and retarded, right? But anyway... You know, yeah, let's go into the second point. I mentioned this a little while ago, but we'll go into it deeper, right? You know, all these people going around saying that they are freedom-loving Americans, right? But yet in the next sentence, they'll be like, well, I'm a law-abiding citizen. It's like, well, wait a second. How the hell, how does this make sense? How the hell on one hand can you be a freedom-loving American? You got dumbass out here walking around with t-shirts that say, I can't hear you over the sound of my freedom or another shirt I've seen. People wear, they say, freedom was established in 1776, <laughs> right? So how the hell could you be free, but yet, and on the other hand, you brag about how obedient you are to the government which rules over you, right? Like, literally, people out here literally take pride in saying that they are law-abiding citizens. Like, like, literally take pride in that. Like, wow, think about how retarded that is. Why the hell would you take pride in literally being a servant to a ruling class? It's like, dumbass, if you have people ruling over you and dictating to you what you can and cannot do, you are not free. Like, I mean, I don't understand, like, how this is such a big revelation to people, what, what I'm showing here. I mean, th this is like just common knowledge right here. This is just common knowledge to be able to tell, okay, well, if there's a group of people telling me what I can and can't do, well, then I'm not free. But apparently, when it's America we're talking about, all of a sudden those same morals go out the window, right? Those same um, principles no longer apply anymore, right? Apparently, that's what it is. Like, you know, a lot of these people, you know, they'll sit there and talk shit about other countries and, you know, criticize other, other governments and, um, you know, principalities around the world, right? But yet, when it comes to their own government... And the America, you won't hear a peep out of their mouth. Why? Because they have something called cognitive dissonance. Right? They have something called cognitive dissonance. Where in this instance, they're ignoring the facts just so they can stick with their pre-held views on the subject. Because they don't want to change their position on it. Why? Because, well, people out here are gullible and ignorant. You know, one of my new slogans is, the gullible will be gullible. The ignorant will be ignorant, right? And that's clearly what we have out here in the United States, right? A lot of people out here, by, you know, vast majority, are what you call gullible and ignorant, right? They're gullible to the the contradiction in society, right? They're, they're gullible to all of this wickedness going on, right? They turn a blind eye to it. And then they're ignorant to the history of their own country. Whereas literally, just like today is a great example, right? They'll go out and party and celebrate their nation. But yet none of them address the fact that this nation was founded 
based on people revolting against their own government, which Americans today totally detest that idea. Right, they totally detested. Oh, like what happened a couple years ago with the January 6th riot? Remember that? What was that? About four years ago, nearly, right? You know, where people ran into the the capital of the United States, and well, most of those people were actually civil, right? There were some people that got a little violent, of course, but most of those people actually like stayed in line. Like when you went into the capital, there's like um. There's like a set up pathway for you to walk on, right? Like for the normal people that would be in there. And most of these people, when they went in, they stayed within that boundary. They, they didn't, you know, run around like, you know, a damn chicken with its head cut off. They stayed within the boundary that was normally set up inside the building. They didn't go around tearing down statues, you know, and shooting shit. They didn't go around setting, you know, uh, offices on fire, you know, shit like that. But yet yeah, some of these people who were peaceful protesters... They got charged, you know, like what, 10 years in jail, 15 years in jail, some shit like that. And they got, what is it, like 100 cameras watching at all times in there, security cameras. So they see what people are acting out of line and what people are actually just going in there to take pictures and whatnot. So, I mean, how the hell did those people deserve to be put in prison for not even doing anything? Like literally not even touching a single thing. Sure, there was a couple people that, you know, might have acted up, sure, but to pretend like every person there was, I mean, that, that's just willfully ignorant. You know, that's just stupid if you actually look at what happened there. You know, but again, you know, the same moral values uh, that America holds and holds other nations to, she does not abide by those same principles. You know, like America goes by the saying of, it, oh, what is it? Um, you know, America holds values like, you know, freedom and liberty for all, you know, or bullshit like that. Well, America doesn't hold that principle in reality. Sure, on paper, it sounds all cute and fuzzy, but in reality, it, that's not what you hold. Again, America is a bullshit country, right? America is a bullshit country is what this country is. Matter of fact, I remember President Trump he was saying that, um, you know, some of these other countries, I think he was talking about like Mexico or something like that. Um, you know, he was like, it's a, it's a, a shit country, right? You know, all these other countries are shit countries, you know, compared to America. Well, we got news for your ass. America is a shit country, right? This is a shit country right here. And you can't deny that. Like literally everywhere you go, there's people out there that are destitute. There's people out there literally living on the sidewalks. Hell, literally an hour from where I'm at, there's a place called, what, what is it? Kensington Avenue, I believe it's called, over in Philadelphia. Literally got people over there, you know, sleeping on the damn concrete like a damn mattress. You got people out there. Li like, literally, if you go on a walk there, on every single concrete slab, there are drug needles and, you know, human waste. You know, on every single slab of concrete over in uh, Kensington Avenue, right? <laughs> like, I mean, you know, this is a shit country, man. And it's not only there, you know, it's it's spreading uh, all over the country over the last few years, man. In every single one of the 50 states, there's areas over there that they have um, a abundance of just a homeless, you know, setting up their encampments on the street corners, man. Again, it's real bad, man. It's real bad. You know, again, people that just can't see it, like there's dumbass out here that just be like, eh, you know, nothing ever happens. You know, nothing's going on. Well, it's it could be like one of two things with this person. Either they're just willfully being ignorant or they're well off. So, of course, they're not going to, you know, see what's actually going on, right? Of course, they're not going to, you know, see the struggles and, and the, you know, real... Um, you know, struggles that people have to go through because they're well off. Matter of fact, I'll give you an example. The other week, I was at the beach and we ran into this dude there we were talking to that's like a multi-millionaire. The dude got like, what, 20 million in the bank, he was telling us. And um, he just like bought a, um, a condo on the beach down there for like two and a half million dollars like a few months before. And the dude was bragging about, hey, man, based on my investments, you know, I made like $150,000 in this month alone. It's like, shit, $150,000 in one month alone. 
It's like, shit, there, there's been niggas out here that, you know, be willing to, you know, do heinous shit just to get $100,000 in one year, you know, salary, you know. But there's niggas out here literally making that in 30 days. Christ, you know, and that shows the, the inequality in wealth in this country, man. This shows the inequality in this country, right? America does not stand on values about, you know, liberty and freedom and justice for all. America does not stand on that. America has, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The inequality behind, between the haves and the have-nots is insane in this country, man. There's literally people out here um, that I know who have to, the only way they can get a meal is by going to the local food banks, right? Or having to, you know, beg people for a few spare change, right? But yet, on the other hand, there's literally people out here that have millions and millions and, or hundreds and hundreds of thousands in the bank where they don't have to worry about, you know, really another thing for the rest of their lives, right? And they can set up their children, um, you know, for generations, right? The children might never have to work a damn day in their life, right? So they can actually go out, you know, and enjoy life. But meanwhile, us, the average citizen, you know, the government doesn't care about us, right? They make us work for a few dollars an hour. Then, not to mention, they take tax out of your money. They steal your money. And uh, if you act out of line, then you will be severely punished. So how is this country not a authoritative country? Like, like there was a dumbass in my comment section. He calls himself Jill. His YouTube channel is called Rebuke and Reprove. And, and this guy's like some type of pastor or whatnot. But really, he's just a dummy. Right? He's really just like a, a Trump fanboy, um, prideful American that just, you know, thinks he knows the Bible because, well, uh, because he thinks so, right? The dude's on there like, you know, how is America a authoritarian country? I mean, you can own firearms. And I was thinking to myself, it's like, well, dumbass, you know, you can own firearms in like, what, a hundred countries around the world? So the fact that you can own firearms in America, how does that prove that it's like more free than all these other countries? Or how does that prove America's number one? If literally you can own firearms in like all these other countries around the world, or most of them, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I just don't get the logic. It's like, how could you say that? Well, this one thing proves America's number one, but yet you ignore the fact that um, it's actually very difficult to get a firearm in the United States. You have to go through all the paperwork. You have to go through... Um, you know, all of the, um, the background checks. And then, first of all, the government, they can have the ultimate say-so, whether you get it or you don't, right? They can have the say-so. Like, there's states over here where you're not allowed to have certain firearms. There's just some states where you're only allowed to have a pistol, right? Some states, they allow you to open carry a small firearm, whereas in other states, they don't let you have it, Right? So again, to just sit there and pretend like, oh, well, you know, you can have firearms in America. It's like, well, dumbass, you can have it in a hundred other countries around the world. And then second of all, how is it then that there's some states in America where you can't even have firearms? So are those states now less free then? And then if you agree they are less free, well, doesn't that qualify that some parts of America are not as free as you say they are? But again, they like will completely contradict themselves and pretend it doesn't matter now after I pointed out these hard hither facts, right? You know, then I also want to point out that, you know, say for instance, there's regulations around some of the firearms. Like say you can't have a shotgun that has like a barrel an inch longer than the, the legal uh, standard or they'll come hunt you down and uh, put you in jail for having a, uh, you know, a shotgun with a uh, inch longer um, barrel than what is legally allowed or magazines, right? Like literally you can go to jail if you have a magazine that holds like five more ammunition than the legal limit, right? Or, you know, a pistol that is able to, um, you know, constantly, you know, spray and pray compared to, you know, having one round, you know, at a time. You know, or just, you know, a couple examples like that to mention, right? But it's like, wait a second, if the government can come after you for having stuff like that, if you don't go by their uh, legislation and legal limit, I was like, well, again, how is that a free country then? Because if it was a free country, you couldn't put up all these, um, 
nonsense restrictions. Like, say, for instance, like, like what difference does it make if somebody has a shotgun with, um, you know, a barrel on it that's just one or two inches longer than the legal limit? Like, like what change is that, really? All it is is, well, he's not bowing down to the demands of government, so we're going to go hurt him. That's basically what it is. Or what about a person that has a magazine that can hold maybe five more rounds in the legal limit? And like, is that person really doing something wrong? I mean, like, like I don't get that. It's like, but all these dummies will be out there. They'll just bend over back, backwards like a damn gay person and just will accept whatever the government wants to shove up their back end. That's what these people out here basically are. On one hand, I am free, right? I am free in America. But yet, on the other hand, they'll totally bend the knee to every demand of government, right? Hey, they take pride in being a law-abiding citizen, right? They take pure pride in obeying every decree that their dictators give down. It's like, well, well, dumbass, how the hell could you be so freedom-loving if you literally admit that you obey whatever you're told? I mean, you are literally admitting that you have a authoritarian government because you take pride in following all their demands right? And then you just call yourself free because you're, you know, ignorant and uh, just a retard. You know, that's just how people out here think, man. You know, it's a damn shame. Like, like some of these homeboys out here, you know, American patriots, they're going out, you know, shooting off their fireworks and their, um, and their uh, guns today on the 4th. You know, they're out there, you know, shooting off their fireworks and firearms and, you know, praising America for their freedom. But yet if the government came in uh, next month, and told them that we want your firearms, these people would just hand them in without a problem. Right? Like, like say, for instance, right? Like, they'll, they might say, oh, I don't want to give you my weapons. I don't want to give you my weapons. I should be allowed to have it. But then the government comes back and uh, makes a, a bill about it, and then now it becomes the law that you can't have it. Then they would hand in their weapons without a hesitation because, again, they are law-abiding citizens. They take pride in being a obedient servant to their rulers. But yet, on the other hand, they claim it they're free. It's like, well, how the hell, how can your dumb ass be free if you literally take pride in being a servant to an, an, a ruling class? Again, it's like people out here just, they don't think. They're like, everybody goes brain dead in this country. Once you start pointing out the contradictory and the hypocrisy of the United States, Everybody just becomes brain dead all of a sudden. Like, nobody actually will address these facts. Like, everybody just acts like a damn zombie once America starts getting called out. Because everybody just wants to be an American fanboy. But then when they get called, when they get their ass called out, then all of a sudden everybody acts like a, you know, big damn baby. Like, like this dumbass out there, I believe his channel is called, um... I think this guy's channel is called The Angry Prepper, right? The Angry Prepper. And basically, there's this <laughs> this dude on there, this big black baby. But they call him the black version of Woody the Pooh on there. Right? This dude's on there talking about, you know, all these other countries in the world are all corrupt and evil. But then when it goes to America, he's like, oh, I love America. You know, America is such a respectable country. It's like, you know, wow. Well, you know, so this guy on one hand, he's like supposedly a truther, right? But yet, on the other hand, he totally bends over ass backwards like a gay man and just accepts whatever the U.S. government, you know, is baby uh, spoon feeding him. You know what I'm saying? It's just really retarded. But again, you know, I hate seeing people like that, right? On one hand, they, they actually seem smart. But on the other hand, you see that they're really just a dumbass. You know, and these people are everywhere. Like, these people are everywhere. You know, they'll say one or two topics that they're clearly right and smart about. But then when they start talking about topics like the United States or shit like that, then you see these people clearly have no clue what's going on, right? You know, one person might be smart on one topic, but then be wrong on, you know, four other topics, right? You know, a matter of fact, I always say, you know, I give credit to certain people. Um, just like, uh, what's this guy I used to watch? D. McClung, right? D. McClung, he had a statement that he would always say, and it went, he was right until he was wrong. He was right until he was wrong. Right, and that's how a lot of these people are. Hey, they were right on one topic, but then they go off on all these others. Say, hey, he was right until he got it wrong. 
Right, he was right and told he was wrong. Right, and that's a good stance to have with a lot of these people, man. You know, like some of these Israelite groups or, you know, some of these Christian groups, like Steven Anderson, right? And his, uh, you know, Woken Church or whatever that nonsense he got it going. But he, he's right on some topics, but then he's clearly wrong on other topics. You know, it just depends on whatever the topic of discussion, you know, is um, at the, you know, the moment in time. You know, but I don't want to make this video too drawn out. Bear with me a second. You know, another thing I want to mention, right, is how, you know, supposedly, right, supposedly America is like such a, a just and um, uh, uh, respectable nation, right? America is such a just nation that deserves all this credit and respect. But yet here it is, on the other hand, everybody who breaks even the very least of their commandments will be severely punished. So th that is a authoritarian government right there. That it can issue demands, they call them laws, and anybody who's called it breaking even the very least of these commandments will be severely punished. Some people might get their money stolen from them, some people might get put in jail, some people might even get killed. You know, this reminds me of that, of Revelation chapter 13, uh, 15, right? And I'm nearly paraphrasing off the top of my head, but spoke about the image of the beast, right? That all would have to worship the image of the beast. And anybody that didn't bow down to him, they would be killed. Right now, the image of the beast, well, the first beast was Rome back, you know, in ancient times. Then it fell and then it came back again as America. So America is the beast today. And the image to the first beast is like the legal system they have set up. Because the way that, um, you know, America legislation and all of this, um, you know, the Congress and all of the legality works it's the same way it worked in rome matter of fact they even use roman numerals when they deal with the law code right so again rome was the first beast that fell and came back as the united states so when they made an image to the first beast the first beast they made the image to was rome so the system they have today of the um um what is it the republicans and democrats it's the same that they had in ancient rome with the flabians and the patricians Right. It was the same system set up, the two winged party. Right. And the way to look at it, it's like a bird with two wings. Right. It's a hey, the Democrats and Republicans. They might go against each other, but they're really uh, just two wings of the same bird. Right. There's the same agenda at the end of the day that they're all working towards because there's, you know, controlled behind the scenes by the same uh, people in power. And then not to mention the election itself is rigged. Right, but that that's a whole other video right there. So I I won't go on to that now. But you know, again, uh, taking all these factors into consideration, you know, it's very clear that America is not a nation that stands on her uh, claimed values. Right, America is a authoritative country. Right, it issues demands, calls them laws, and anybody who's found breaking any of those commands will be severely punished. So how the hell could America be a free country if literally they can make up any demand you want and you will be forced by violence to obey them or you get hurt? That's what a authoritative and authoritarian nation does. And absolutely America is a authoritative uh, a dictatorship. That's absolutely America, right? So, you know, the flag doesn't deserve to get respect, you know, because that doesn't stand for freedom, right? The flag doesn't stand for freedom. You know, America is not a free nation. Right. If you believe that you are a gullible moron that clearly knows nothing, you know, you're just, uh, you know, a simp, right? A simpleton that, you know, thinks you're smart because you well, you heard a couple of things on the Internet or grew up uh, with parents that believed in, you know, government and taught you best, you know, or some bullshit like that. But anybody who actually does research and actually looks into what they believe um, and, and can see the corruption then you would know that this nation does not deserve to be respected. America is a evil country, right? America is a detestable and evil country. And God absolutely doesn't love America. And that's a whole other thing. Is And even in the Bible, it talks about how this country, you know, put herself on a pedestal, right? She, she sits as a queen and says that she will see no sorrow. I believe that's in Jeremiah 50 or 51. But it says these things will come upon her in the moment, right? In one day, right? Death, mourning, and famine. 
and widowhood, right? The loss of children. And really, it's metaphoric language when it talked about, um, you know, widowhood and all that. But it's essentially just talking about how a real destruction is coming in the future dealing with the Bible, right? Bible prophecy. Um, when you read Revelation 17 and 18, it's talking about like the future downfall of this nation, uh, America. But in the Bible, it's called Babylon. The word Babylon, which really goes back to the Tower of Babel in Red, uh, Genesis 11. But the word Babel means confusion, right? So America is confusion. Matter of fact, the word America means bitter, right? The word America itself means bitter. Look it up. You know, so I don't want to make this video too drawn out, but um, I hope that was out of fine. If anybody made it to the end, hashtag blue in the comments. But I'm going to say shalom.